Hello, so finally I'm back with another book review. It took me a shamefully long time to finally record it, so my apologies. The reason I have not been present on the channel as much as I would like to is that for the last couple of months I've been following an intense AI bootcamp. Good news is that I have a few days off on my hands now, so you can expect some more reviews coming your way soon. If you are curious about what books I have been learning from and I would like to recommend you, don't forget to subscribe. In the meanwhile, as you are aware, I convinced Rick to create some content for you as well, so I hope you liked it. And if you would like to see him more on this channel, let him know in the comments below his videos. I'm sure he would love to get some feedback from you. Finally, before I get to the core topic of this video, I would like to thank everyone who decided to stick around and subscribe or leave a comment or a like. Seeing the traces of your interest have been reminding me that I should keep going with YouTube. So here I am again. Now into the content of this video. If you know some Python basics and now you are learning how to handle data with Python, I have a great book for you, Python Data Science Handbook. I got myself a hard copy quite a while ago and it has been accompanying me in better understanding the theory behind the standard Python libraries for handling data, namely NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib and Scikit-learn. Now the best part, this book is actually available online for free. The author of the book, Jake van der Plaas, also shared it on his GitHub so you can clone the whole repo and read each chapter in the form of a Jupyter notebook, something you will learn about in the first chapter of this book. So the book consists of five chapters. The first one talks about how to find your way when using IPython among the topics are how to find help and documentation and how to troubleshoot. In the second chapter you will learn about NumPy library, why NumPy arrays are useful for handling data and how to use them. The third chapter will help you to start using pandas to organize your data into data frames. Chapter 4 presents how to visualize data with Python and further how to customize your visualizations. Finally, chapter 5 is going to introduce you to traditional machine learning. Personally, I think this book is a great introduction to handling data in Python, storing it, manipulating, doing exploratory data analysis, or learning about traditional data science. And since it is available for free, nothing stands in the way to give it a try. So I hope you found this video useful and if yes, please let me know and stay tuned for the next one.